Ooh. So, alright, I am currently at this crappy hotel in Jalingo, Taraba State. I arrived here late yesterday night after a 12 hour solid road trip. But anyway, this is not my final destination. As you guys can see, I am still packed ready to head back to the bus station that I arrived in late yesterday night. It's still a couple of long hours ahead to get to my final destination. But I know you guys are probably confused right now. So for this to actually make sense, I think we should roll back this video to when I actually started preparing for this trip back in Abuja. So while you guys go watch it out, I'll just make sure to get ready and I'll catch you guys on the outside. Also, please, if it's your first time here, my name is Khalid and I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Catch you guys on the outside. Alright guys, so very busy evening today, so I'm currently just preparing for my trip, which is supposed to be tomorrow or the day after, so I'm just basically out now getting some supplies that I will be needing for the trip. Um, Gala Pringles biscuits. Yeah, I think I'm good. So yeah, I just met a fellow YouTuber here. She's the only one who actually recognizes that we are YouTuber because we are going around with camera. So, you guys get the point. Parastamol and some anti malaria, so I think I'm really good now. So it's a very early travel morning. I'm currently on my way to the bus park. I'm here with my friend, you guys can't even see him. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on my way to the bus park. It is going to be another travel day. I'll just talk to you guys when I get to the park. Certain it is going to be a very difficult journey. But considering the location I am going to, there isn't really any option. This is the best I could get. I'm just praying I survive the entire trip. Also, my camera is in my bag because I can't just risk using my camera here or even on the journey at all. So, whatever I film is going to be on my mobile phone. Alright, I think this would work. It doesn't have to be a correct one, but just something to save my eyes from the dust. Oh boy, so we are currently somewhere in Benue State. The name of this place is called Buruku and apparently it's my first time here. I never even had an idea that we are going to have to cross the river to get to the other side. So apparently this is how it works. The bus gets here, they hop back and then somehow they get the bus on the canoe with the passengers and then you cross the river to the other side and then you continue your journey. This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it. In fact, I had no idea until we got here. And I'm just surprised to see this. But well, yes, I guess this is going to be an adventure, so we'll see as it goes. Here comes our boss. our boss and yeah we all made it true all right so hello from presence khalid um so i'm currently at the bus station turns out i got here pretty early this is the bus that we are going with a friend of mine was recommending them to me as the most recommended transport company to travel with down to game book one of However, one of the major problems I have traveling this part is the amount of luggages that they have to load onto the buses. It's just really ridiculous. But then you don't even just have a choice because this is just how it works here. So yeah, also I'm currently still filming on my phone because I'm in Taraba State, Northeast Nigeria. You guys, you know, get the picture. And of course, I think I look like a stranger here. So I mean, vlogging with the camera would just draw unnecessary attention. So I'll be recording all of these things on my phone. I apologize for the crappy footage you guys have seen already and for the ones you guys are probably still going to see on the way to Gimbu. It's currently say about 6 a.m. now and the bus is just beginning to get filled up. I actually expected that the bus gets filled up before now, 
But yeah, I guess it's just the way it goes, yeah. So at this point, I don't even really know what is happening. I am beginning to get frustrated. The time is currently 7 a.m. And the bus... I mean, the drivers are just there. I mean, the luggages are not even loaded in the bus yet. Um, I don't know. I just really wish we were on our way already because looking that it is because seeing that it is going to be about a seven eight hours trip, I really wish we had left already by now. All right, so we are finally loading now. I'm really worried though for how my bag was packed in the trunk, but the one thing is for sure that the bag isn't going to fall. So yeah, I guess we'll be on the road soon. I wouldn't lie though, know, this sitting position I'm currently sitting at is way comfortable than what I experienced from Abuja down to Jalingo yesterday. Um, Alright, so it's been a solid for us into the trip. Um, we now stopped at this little village for some lunch, although I don't think I'm going to be having anything because I already packed some snacks earlier on. So anyway, the trip is looking good. I think we still have about three hours to get to Gembu, which is our final destination, or rather, which is my final destination. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys then. Also, it's pretty sunny, but trust me, the weather here is beginning to feel a little colder than what I experienced while we were in Jalingo. So I think basically, the higher you go, because really you are going higher in elevation, the colder it gets. So I just think that's how it is. So I'll see you guys in Gembu. Also, I'm still filming with my phone. You guys know why already. Finally, after seven hours, we finally arrived in Gembu. I can't wait to show you guys how my bag looks like right now. See, this is my bag over here. Look at all the dust. So it's time to hop on a bike and get an hotel. I'll see you guys on the inside. Thank you. So, after a cumulative 20 hour road trip, you guys hold on. After a cumulative 20 hour road trip from Abuja down to Jalingo and then from Jalingo down to Gembu, I have finally arrived at my destination and I'm so happy right now. So, yeah, this is going to be my room or my home for the next couple of days. But first and first, I need to freshen up definitely get some food to eat and yeah guess what this hotel has no fan or no air conditioner simply because the weather is just really cold <laughs> sounds like dust because of the way my bag was packed in the bus i came with a mosquito repellent gel you can't be messing around with mosquito stuff also they better have some good bread here because i came all the way with my peanut butter the biggest bag of gold in that there is. Alright, so yeah, I just had a shower. I feel so refreshed. Also, the restaurant lady just brought the food, so let me show you guys what it looks like. We have white rice and plantain and stew and beef. Yeah, and all of that goes for 700 naira, so I guess. Right, so I'm just looking like for a quiet place to do some recording now. So yeah, that's why I said I was looking for a quiet place. I think there's sort of an event that's to be going on in this hall. I don't know. But yeah, let me just look for somewhere else that's quiet. So before I bring this vlog to an end, which is basically just a vlog of my trip, 
from Abuja down to Jalingo and then from Jalingo down to Gimbu. There are a couple of things I want to share with you guys which will be the takeaway of this vlog. So first of all, you guys saw the adventurous crossing we had in Benue State. The name of the local government in Benue was actually Buruku and it's actually not a new thing, it's something that has been going on. I think it's been even reported in the news at some point, the convoy of the governor, I don't know if it's the governor or a certain government official, a particular convoy was actually pictured crossing the same way so i mean it's something that's been happening for 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 a long time now it seemed new to me because i've never experienced such thing before i know in local jacoki state where i come from i think there's also a similar kind of situation there i think in some other part of the country as well but anyway i've never experienced it i actually didn't have an idea something like that was going to happen we basically just got to the location and the next thing everybody was coming and you're like we are going to get the bus on the on the canoe and we're going to sit down on the canoe and cross but yeah it was just an experience for me you know i i, I shared it on twitter and you know a couple of people had to share their own experiences as well a couple of people have actually traveled this path so they've they've gone through the same process and the basically the reason they are doing that is just to cut short the journey i mean the journey still took about 12 hours so i wonder if we didn't have to cross the river and just go by road i wonder how long the entire journey you know could have taken but anyway i am happy that it was a successful crossing because even if you check the news there have been issues of boats miss up and people actually dying from actually trying to cross, cross from Benue into taraba state so yeah that is that secondly another thing i must mention on this trip is that if you're ever passing through here you must endeavor to hold your id card i mean it is very necessary i wouldn't even advise you if you're traveling anywhere in nigeria not to hold you know your not to hold an id card especially when you're going somewhere far and extreme like this you know because when you start approaching um, Gimbu, you meet a lot of immigration officials and they, the bus literally parks and they ask everybody to present their ID card and the reason for that is that the road that leads to Gimbu is actually the same border road that leads you to Cameroon out of Nigeria so actually even in my bus there are people who are Cameroonians there are people who are Nigerians who are in the bus so these are some of the reasons why they actually need to check to make sure everybody is with a valid ID card you know or something of that sort so i mean it's nothing to worry about but then if they see your face they can easily tell that you are not even from this part of the country so they like ask you immediately what's your name where are you from and show me an id card so something like that but nothing to worry about just hold your id card and then you're good to go another thing i must mention if you're tripping the spot is when you start approaching gamebu like literally when you start approaching the mambila play two you literally start feeling this altitude sickness sort of it's like the experience you get when you're flying on an airplane like your ears just go numb and you start feeling like a tingly sound you feel all of those things i mean it's nothing to worry about if you're used to flying but if you're a first timer you should keep in mind for that kind of situation and as soon as you start ascending the mambila plate to the view is breathtakingly beautiful like as you guys probably have seen in this video i even wish we had the opportunity to like stop to just you know film some things anyway i should also mention that it is dry season so the view is not as breathtaking as it would normally be because it's dry season so the fields are brownish and dusty and everything you must also pay attention to the dust so and again the whole elevation process should take about say 30 to 45 minutes but for the most part you probably be just looking through the window enjoying the view from the inside but yeah it's just really fun and you know for a first time you would definitely be amazed and you even get to see like monkeys on the road i'm told when you pass there like in the morning you see so many monkeys you know waiting for you know passengers or people passing by to give them bananas and we actually sighted a couple while we were while we are you know ascending the mountain this is not the final video where i'll tell you guys all that it is all that there is to know about embarking on a trip like this i'm going to make a separate video for that this is just like a preamble before my adventure even starts so i don't want to say too much right now you guys should expect you know that video so yeah those are a couple of things you guys should keep in mind i didn't just want to just you know leave this video without you know dropping some you know points and value for you guys so yeah that's been it i'm not sure just anything i should say again so i guess um this will be the end of this video so this will definitely be a good time for you guys to subscribe i have loads and loads of amazing content coming trust me this is just a, this is just a vlog that shows you my trip from abuja all the way to game but trust me i haven't even started the experience tomorrow will make it effective day one in mambila play two where i start to go deep and do all of the adventures and all of the exploring so you guys should make sure to stick around for that so if it's your first time here Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, drop a comment, I would love to hear from you. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.